JKG12. We are going to have a short presentation relating to creative thinking and problem solving. Uh, this is our topic and we regard this topic as revision. Remember we covered this in grade 10 and also in grade 11. Right, we will focus on problem solving techniques problem solving techniques right in credit 12 we only focus on four problem solving techniques the first one being delphi technique the second one being force field analysis then the third one it's brainstorming then the fourth one it's nominal group technique we covered these uh, problem solving techniques in grade 10 and also in grade 11 so that is why I said this is uh, regarded as a revision topic. Right, uh, we'll begin by focusing on application of Delphi technique. How to apply Delphi technique. In short, we mean how to use Delphi technique when solving problem. We know businesses encounter or experience many problems. Now, as you have challenges as a manager, you must use Delphi technique. How do you apply it? Let's go to step number one. Step number one it says businesses must invite panel of experts to research the complaints from consumers. Panel of experts, we mean knowledgeable people, specialists, professors from different university, well-reputable managers, marketing managers, financial managers. You invite them to come and help you to solve the problem. Right, step number two, experts do not have to be in one place and will be conducted or conducted individually. Meaning to say, each expert can be in his office or different area as long they will not meet and they will not be allowed to discuss. Right, step number three, design the questionnaire consisting the question on how to improve the quality of their products and distribute it to the panel members or experts. You have designed the questionnaire. The questionnaire is about how to solve the problem which you have encountered in your business. Then request the panel, request the panel to individually respond to the questionnaire or suggest improvement to the products and return it to the business. Then summarize the responses from the experts in a feedback report. Then send the feedback report and a second set of question or questionnaire based on the feedback report to the panel members. What does it mean? It means you have a second round whereby you give them another set of questions so that you gather more data, more information or more solutions. Right, you can request panel members to provide further input or ideas on how to improve the quality of the products after they have studied the results and the documentation. Then you can further distribute a third questionnaire based on previous feedback for the second round. If you did not get the right solution, you can repeat and resend again. Prepare a final summary feedback report with all methods to improve the quality of the products of your business. Right. Then lastly, the business should choose the best solution or proposal after reaching consensus. As the experts have given you different information, different solution, the last step means that your business should choose. It must choose the best solution, not just a solution. But let's go to the next slide. Right, on the next slide, we are focusing on the application of force field analysis. How to apply force field analysis when intending to solve the problem. Right, the first step says, describe the current situation or problem and the desired situation. We want this situation, that is our desire. We want the business to be in this, po in this position or situation. That is our desired, desired situation. Right, then... After you have described the current situation, we go to step number two. List all driving forces, pros 
and cons or restraining forces that will support or resist a change. Remember, every activity is having advantages and disadvantages. Advantages of doing something, disadvantages of doing something. Advantages of implementing or buying machinery, disadvantages of buying that new machinery. Allocate a score to each force using a numerical scale where one is weak and five is the strongest. So it depends upon the facts or the advantages. Each advantage is rated different. The weaker one, it is going to have square, uh, score number one. The strong one, score number five. Then after you have done that, we go to the, the step number four. Weigh up, weigh up the positives and negatives. Then decide if the project is viable. Meaning to say you are comparing advantages and disadvantages, pros and cons. You check whether advantages are more than disadvantages so that you may make a decision. Choose the force with the highest score as a solution. More advantages are, are, are chosen. If the project is viable, find ways to increase the forces for change. And lastly, identify priorities and develop an action plan. How are you going to put the plan into practice? But let us go to another problem solving technique. The other problem solving technique is uh, brainstorming. So we are now focusing on application of brainstorming application of brainstorming how to put brainstorming into practice state that is step number one state or define the business problem clearly so that all participants or stakeholders may understand the problem meaning to say the business is having a problem make sure that all the participants understand the problem as a manager define or describe that problem so that everyone may understand it clearly by step number two, members state possible causes of the business problems. As we have maybe declining quality and so on, or declining profits as a problem, businesses or business managers must allow members to, to identify or state possible causes. What are the causes of the problem? Right, then you set time limit for each brainstorming session. Do not allow workers to, to take more unnecessary time brainstorming it means they have you have to limit the time maybe five minutes five minutes each or three minutes three minutes each depending on the time available then after that record or write down ideas where all participants can see it ideas may also be shared online during e-brainstorming that electronic that is electronic brainstorming session use each suggestion to inspire uh, thoughts or ideas, meaning to say each member provides ideas. You can use someone's idea to inspire another person's ideas. Do not judge, do not criticize or discuss ideas so that many ideas could be generated as quickly as possible. We all know that if you criticize other people, they are going to be shy to, to, to present or to give you their ideas. All members of the group randomly make suggestions. They randomly make suggestions. They don't follow any order. As long as you brainstorm and have an idea, whether it's poor or good, suggest to give an idea. Then the group of rates ideas pay its usefulness, success, difficulty, cost it to implement. They are going to rate. Remember, ideas from different individuals are different in terms of value. So they are supposed to be rated. Whether is this useless or useful. Okay? Then another step, the group evaluates all ideas, combines similar ones, draw up a refined list. There are ideas which are similar, which or which they have similarities. Those ideas, they are supposed to be combined. Then those which are different, they are separated. Then others, they are supposed to be refined so that they may be clear. Then lastly, the last point, discuss a plan of action on how to implement the best idea. Discuss a plan of action on how to implement idea, to put the idea into practice. But let us go to the last technique. The last technique, which is nominal group technique. Nominal group technique. Let's go to the application. How to use nominal group technique when intending to solve the problem. Step number one. 
encourage the group to clearly define the problem and improve the quality of their products due to various complaints so that all small group can work on the same problem. In this situation, it means we are no longer following the brainstorming system, but we are following nominal group technique whereby the groups are small. The business must divide employees into smaller groups. That large group of workers must be divided into smaller groups, whereby the group is managed to four or five individuals. Then request each employee to silently brainstorm or generate many ideas on his or her own on how quality of the product can be improved and the ideas are supposed to be written down. But another step, each employee in the small group has the opportunity to give one of his or her ideas solution with a short explanation. You bring the idea, then you explain that idea on how it can help to solve the problem. Then appoint one, appoint one employee to write the ideas, solutions on a large sheet of paper. Capture solutions electronically on a computer for all members to see. Allow each member to give a second solution until possible solutions have been recorded. Meaning to say this becomes a second round whereby each member give a second solution. You brainstorm and give the second solution. Then another step encourage employees to ask a clearly seeking question do not just ask the question for the sake of asking but ask questions which are there to seek clarity to seek better explanation discourage criticism of ideas do not allow other workers to criticize we all know that in our class we have got itumeleng who always criticize others it's not good to criticize others even if the point is weak allow that person to contribute the business must eliminate ideas that are duplicate or are duplicated and similar those ideas which are similar must be eliminated each employee must read thorough or you will read through all suggestions anonymously you write them giving the highest points to the best solution anonymously we mean you are voting secretly so that someone may not fear to criticize even his friend's idea. That is why we write ideas anonymously. That is voting. Then after that, we collect the ratings and calculate the total points. Which one is the best? That is to calculate so that we may write the ideas and have the best ideas. Then lastly, small groups must present one solution to the large group. Small groups must present one solution to the large group that was deemed best according to the score of votes in their small group. Right. Meaning to say we vote for the best. When we are now having the best idea in our small group, we take that best idea and present it to a large group. Right. Thank you. Point of advice. Sorry. Point of advice. Let us not confuse nominal group technique and brainstorming. They are different. Always try to strike the difference or identify the difference. Thank you. Our video lessons and here.